Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you back to Not For Trade, a series where I open up TCG products trying to build the most expensive folder I can as if I was, if I was a kid building up their first collection. Now as you can see, I'm going to be opening up a Scarlet and Violet build and battle kit. I did want to have this open a bit closer to the pre-release event, however, they were just simply all sold out, so I couldn't get it until now. Um, so I will open up that. Um, while I do, just want to say that in the previous episode, I managed to get three cards added to the folder. Those being the Marco Altar, which I th knew was going in, and then the Yamato promo, and the level ball, um, specifically the hollow one. I did get two level balls. Um, the Marco wasn't as, as expensive as I thought it was, but it is what it is. Um, prices do fluctuate dramatically. So, in this we do get a promo card, and it is the Quaquaval promo. And uh, with a deck, we get four packs. Let's have a quick look at this. Normally there is simply just a tear slot. Um, a, a big thing that actually happened with the last episode was that I have hit over $900 in the folder. Um, so that is something quite surreal. Uh, so let's first get the Quaquaval. This is a alternate art printing of the Quaquaval with the Scarlet and Violet set symbol. Oops. Really good. Um, I was short this originally. I did get a code card, but I have since um, traded for it. And looking at this, we get the Quaquaval and Pormot engines. So let's have a quick look at this. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, five water, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve lightning, that's actually. Um, uh, you do get 17 energy usually, it seems. Um, so that's quite high. Uh, and then this is all out of order. Let's just give this a quick um, organize so I can accurately describe what's in here. Uh, these are, I feel like, great ways to start for newer players. Um, I have been to a few pre-releases now. Definitely recommend if the ne whenever the next set is that you decide to attend, give it a try. Um, some really interesting shenanigans tend to happen due to the fact that people just don't know what they are doing. Um, Anyway, so we end up with a 3 2 2 Pour Me, Pour Mo, Pour Mot line. Oh, actually, sorry. Yeah, 2 2 2. Yeah. Um, really good. Speed out that lightning energy. Um, this is your main attacker, this Pour Mot with Electro Paws, doing 230 damage for 3 energy, and then you just discard all the energy. Um, with the Quaquaval, that you can attach energy from your hand as many um, as often as you like. You can attach a energy to a basic Pokemon, so a basic energy to one of your Pokemon. Um, so we do also get the three, two, two because we do get the promo Quaquaval. Uh, normally, the three, two, one is actually quite good. Uh, so. You don't want too many of these Quackovals. You can see the difference, and this one is also foiled. Um, 
where you get one Bruxish, most likely want to uh, swap that out immediately. Uh, for the Stadium, we do get the Mesa Gosa amazing card. I highly recommend just this as a if you're new to the game or want a deck that wants specific Pokemon out and you don't want to run too many of the Pokeball variants. Uh, definitely a great uh, pickup. We do get two youngsters being able to cycle cards through your deck. Uh, we've got a Nimona for the simple draw three. Jacques, amazing to get the um, evolution Pokemon. I have been using this quite a bit since uh, the release. To get the Nest Ball, a Pokeball, and a rare candy. In fact, I think this Nest Ball might actually make it into the folder just barely. Um, it's interesting with um, common cards which actually is worth it. So we do get four packs here. Now the big chase card is of course the Miriam. Has gone up slightly in price. Um, it was starting to go down and now it's going back up. So here we go. We got a Fighting Energy. Palpat. Flabebe. Toxel. Roltz. Star Raptor. Electric Generator. Wugtrio. We got a Reverse King Gambit. A Bombardier and a regular printing of the Pormot. Okay, we got a Dark Energy Zangoose, Krogunk, Dedene, Curlia, Beachcott, Sandaconda, Katie, Stonjourner. We got a Clauncher and a Coridon. Now, usually in these kits, you do tend to get at least one semi decent pool. Um, with some of my Scarlet and Violet ones that I've opened, I didn't get too good. Um, but hopefully, I do get that one card that stands out above the rest. We have a Lightning Energy Growlithe, Shuppet. We've got a Tandem Mouse, Smoliv, Judge, Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, We've got a Switch, a Rotom, and a Gardevoir EX. Definitely a card that I feel like people are looking at, um, mainly for the alternate art printing though. So, be interesting to see if I do get anything else. The only real cards that I'm looking for potentially are illustration cards, so chances are up there, but we'll see. We've got a Water Energy, Switch, Fuecoco, Tropius, Pokeball, Staraptor, we've got an Electric Generator, Wugtrio, Lucario, a Fuecoco, and an Annihilate. So, not the best um, pulls. Uh, now you can run um, more than a full playset of certain card names. However, looking at the deck, it's the cards that I could have gotten um, to change things up. It was a little limited. We could actually run the Gardevoir in this deck, um, which is actually quite interesting. And maybe just add another poor mot. Definitely worth it. Um, so, also a few little options. Not too much, but interesting nonetheless. Um, with that being said, that is the end of this video. Um, I have a feeling that these two might make it into the folder. Um, maybe the nest ball, we'll have to double check to be sure, um, but usually these promo cards do tend to at least hold a little bit of value for a little bit. Um, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you get to see you again next time, but until then, have a good one folks.